Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If today is your first time tuning in, hello and welcome. My name is Renita. If you've been here before, welcome back. I want to say thank you to um, all of my past subscribers and, and the new subscribers. Anyone who has just subscribed, thank you to you all. And so let's get into today's video. So um, from the title of the video, y'all have to excuse me, I'm sitting in a carpool lane and decided to record a video. So today I wanted to discuss... Um, five things that I no longer buy or that I'm no longer spending money on. And one of the things, one of the items that made the list is something that I'm not spending any money on this year. That's not to say that things may not change, but I have committed to not spending money on the first thing that I'm going to discuss on the list. And so the first thing um, that I no longer am spending money on this year is perfume. I love perfume. I love fragrances. Um, I just, I don't know. I just enjoy them so much. I think it's, it stemmed from me being a child and being around my aunts who loved perfume too. And I would get into their things and smell their perfume and it just has stayed with me. I have not been the type of person who can just wear this one fragrance just all the time or whatever. If I find something that I like, I can wear it for a while, but and I guess I get bored with fragrances. I don't throw them away. I keep them because I will, you know, come back around to wearing them eventually. But I'm just not, I don't stick to the same fragrance. And I also, I don't spend a lot of money on fragrances. I've, I haven't purchased any luxury um, brands. I've had them. I do have some, but I didn't purchase them um, myself. So this year, I am not spending any money on perfume because what I found myself doing was that... Um, I'm just continuing to purchase, you know, to buy perfume and I already have it and I'm just adding on because I smell this. Oh, I like this. And it smells so good. And I'm just, you know, adding on, just adding on to, you know, a uh, perfume that I already have. And I, I have enough to not purchase any perfume in the next year, but I'm not committing to that yet. We'll see what happens if I decide to not purchase any next year as well. That's fine. It's, it's you know, it'll be okay. But for now, for 2024, I'm not purchasing any perfume so um if you enjoy perfume let me know and are you that way can you wear the same fragrance every day or do you have a staple fragrance if you have a staple fragrance let me know what it is um because that's i grew up like that my mom my childhood she wore the same perfume and i'm like when i started to get older and get into you know fragrances i'm like how is she wearing the same thing how is she wear but that was a staple fragrance now she's gotten to where she'll wear other things but so her fragrance was estes by estee larder there was her fragrance and she wore that every day and i just am not like that but so number one perfume not purchasing any perfume 2024 we're almost in may i haven't purchased any so i've been doing good okay so the second item on the list that so now, okay, so the, these next items are items that we haven't spent money on in years. And so the next thing, and I think a lot of people are coming around to this, so it may not be anything new for, you know, most of us that are going to be talking about this this um, video, cable TV. So a lot of people, a lot of you all probably don't have cable e either, but we haven't had cable in over, I want to say maybe 10 years or more we haven't had cable tv and right now we're only paying for two we only pay for two streaming services which is netflix and hulu and um i was gonna say <laughs> i was at the point of almost getting rid of one of those but we'll hang on to them for now but it, i mean outside of cable tv if you actually just i mean i'm sure many of you all have done that but if you look at the free streaming services it's so much stuff to watch on tv and then we we have like an antenna <laughs> so the live tv is just like what you know it's so much free tv why well, pay for for cable tv and there's only so much stuff you can watch at one time anyway and from what my experience is a lot of even cable tv they showing the same thing so why pay 150 dollars plus a month to watch the same stuff over and over again that's just my opinion so if you have cable tv that's fine i don't have cable tv so number two on the list is cable tv we no longer pay for cable tv have not paid for it for years um the third thing i would say that we haven't paid for for years would be like expensive um 
cell phone providers. We've had all of them <laughs> over the years. We've been with every single, well, all of the major carriers. We've been with all of them. And we decided to try to, you know, go with some of the cheaper um, versions or whatever just to see. And we were not disappointed. And, well, and, and I'll say, I'm just going to be honest, when we first decided to do that, I was kind of, my grown self was kind of embarrassed to say that we had a certain cell phone provider. But I don't know what I was doing. Tripping is what I was doing because I'm too old for that. I was concerned with if somebody asked me, I don't want to say, oh, that's foolish. Very foolish. So don't be like me. So we switched um, years ago. We um, we had Cricket. And we were paying like, what, 25 I want to say $25 a month. But we were, you know, we we had unlimited, but it was certain things. Like we didn't have a, um, a hot spot. So we would have to pay extra for that at $25. But so don't quote me on the prices. But we, we switched from the large carriers to the cheaper ones because I I don't need, uh, I just need a phone to be able to do, you know, get on the internet sometimes and talk or whatever. So Cricket worked for us. And so now, we tried a different provider, which is um, visible. I think we're paying like twenty dollars a month. So yeah, I, <laughs> we we haven't paid for the large carriers and cell phone service or coverage in years. Number three on the list, did I say? Yeah. So number three on the list would be um, perfume, cable. So that that was number three. So number. So number four on the list, I would have to say is, um, I try not to ever pay full price for clothes. And I know, so there are some exceptions to that. Cause you know, I'm mean, for myself, I would just say for me, not including kids or whatever. So just for me and uh, you know, that's not always possible for the most, but, but for the most part, I always try to, I'm either shopping clearance or secondhand. I, um, if you watch, if you've seen any of my other videos while I'm at the thrift store, then you know I love secondhand shopping. Um, just because, you know, it's clothes and I like knowing that I got a good thing and I didn't pay the most for it. I just picked up a pair of like Gap jeans. No, I'm sorry, Gap shorts for myself just the other day. I went online, they were brand new, Gap tags still on them, brand new shorts. And I went on Gap's website, they had them. I think they were like sixty nine fifty, but they did have a, they were like, um, and some, well, some of them were 30, 40, 50% off or whatever, but I paid mine with 50% off also at the thrift store <laughs> and mine were $5. So even when I go secondhand shopping, I don't like to pay full price in there either. Say what you will, but I don't like to do that. So whenever I can, I absolutely do not like paying full price for clothes i always try to find a discount so that's number four on the list um so my last thing on the list number five and this is something we haven't paid for in years and i don't care to ever pay for this again i don't ever care to buy or pay for this again number five item which is the biggest one on the list is a car payment we haven't had a car payment since 2005 and I don't ever intend on ever paying for a car monthly again so that's just for me me and my husband we don't ever intend on paying another car note car payment if you're paying one and it works for you that's fine I'm just saying for me I don't I don't like paying for a lot of things monthly and so wherever we can cut that out and I know from you know it's not just easy to just go plop down a huge sum of money on a car all at one time I understand that and so you know we we have purchased cars on the lower end and you know maybe up to maybe at the, some point higher end not too high <laughs> so yeah I haven't we have never paid since we've been married we've never paid $30,000 for a vehicle so we haven't paid that or over but as far as car payments we haven't paid a car payment since 2005 there's not a car that i've seen that i want to pay a monthly note for 
anymore. I guess once you get used to not doing it, you just don't want to, and you can just not have to deal with it or whatever. So I don't have to concern myself with making sure I make a car payment every month because I, I just don't want to do it. I've done it. I don't enjoy it. So I don't plan on doing it. It's not my plan to ever pay another car payment. So that's number five. So I said perfume is which I'm not purchasing any of that this year. I'm doing good so far. Perfume, um, cable, cell phone, major cell phone providers, retail price prices for clothing, um, and car payments. So that was a my five things. There are other things I can add to the list of things we don't pay for anymore, but those were just the five I wanted to share with y'all. So y'all let me know, what are some of the things that you no longer pay for or some of the things that you're considering not paying for anymore? Let me know. Maybe I can get some tips and ideas from you all as well. But um, that's my list. Um, I mean, that's my list, my personal list. So don't, <laughs> you don't have to, to come for me about the list. So that's just some of the things that I no longer pay for and I enjoy not paying for those things. But yeah, let me know what you think about that and share with me your items as well. But as always, thanks so much for tuning in to this video. I hope you enjoyed it and me sharing with you my five things that I no longer buy. Remember to like the video, please. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And um, I, I'm enjoying the feedback from the last two videos. I enjoy when people, you know, you get in the comments, we can discuss things. I enjoy it. So if you're tuning in from the last video thank you so much for commenting and liking the video and i appreciate if you do the same thing on this video as well thanks for watching and to the next video i will see you later bye bye